What's up YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Together for Victory DLC. We are playing as New Zealand or the Kiwi Empire here as part of the Axis. Last episode, we finished invading up here in Siam, moving towards Bangkok here, and I'm a little, little wary of trying to move in further here and actually taking the city because I only have four divisions here, and the wider my front line gets, the less sort of, I guess, uh, safe it is going to be to in uh, to actually defend this front line here. I've only got four divisions plugged in up there. I guess we could technically increase it here with some of these red divisions um, by two, which would be nice. But I am trying to also watch my back here because we do have a heavy American presence, heavy American naval presence here in West Polynesia and French Polynesia. So these two areas here, you can see um, quite a big fleet out there at 40 ships to 50, somewhere in between there. My other sea zone regions, though, are looking pretty good. You can see I'm currently hunting down one enemy ship here in the far eastern Indian Ocean. We're also building up our submarine presence here. I've got eight of those suckers now, uh, mostly level fours, a couple level threes in here. So my, my admiral here, the goal is going to be to send a big pack of submarines out here into um, these Polynesia areas to hunt down the, that American shipping. Now we are building the V-Class MK1, so we spent a bunch of naval experience in order to upgrade the torpedoes and such. We do have free military factories though now at four, which I guess I could plug into fighter production potentially. I'll plug two into fighter production and I'll plug another two into the naval bomber production there. So that's good. That's uh, been moved out. Uh, we can also help out with some political power here. We can either go CAV or Airborne Assault, which helps that paratrooper sort of um, attack and defense versus the CAV and Motorized, which I don't really need, to be honest. Let's go ahead and move with Aircraft Designer, I think, is a good choice, because we are working on building out the tactical bombers here. So we're going to need some additional research help in doing so. So if we go medium aircraft here, heavy fighter, tactical bomber, reliability plus 20%, air research time minus 10. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Medium aircraft. So that's going to help out with my research there for those upcoming tactical bombers. Let's go ahead and unpause it and keep it going here. Currently missing some resources. We need 9 oil and 21 aluminum. And I have 16 um, civilian factories working for me here. We did buy one order from the Germans of aluminum that's not making it to the home here. We could buy a round from the Japanese. Um, I feel pretty good about those supplies making it in just because he's got... The Japanese have most of the Pacific... At least uh, they've got a, at least a safe route to get to my territory. So I think that's going to look good for us. Uh, back to trade now. So the aluminum need is down to 15. The oil need still sitting at 9 there. Buying uh, some from the Iranians. Let's go ahead and buy another round from them. It's up to 24 there now. So that really helps out with my oil supply. And helps out those fighters there that we're making at a rate of almost two per day. Nice. The next tactical bomber has finished out. So let's go for the Wellington here at 144 days. I've already got 30 of those in my stockpile that have just been sort of waiting around here for us. Uh, up here, what are we seeing? Okay. A carrier attacking Eastern Micronesia here. And it does look like... Wow. Who dares wins? Okay. It does look like these five American destroyers are really... Are really um, oh, here we go. We've got the Japanese destroyer attacking now. The carrier is moving in here for attack as well. Although he does not have any seaplanes to help bomb out the, that, uh, that area at all. Any other uh, air wings, air bases around that we could use? We are currently stacked up here on this one in Polynesia trying to help out. We did sink. Oh, okay. 
Well, I had 200 air bombers there that went to, to battle, and I'm not sure they really got anything done there. That's okay. Moving up towards our next manpower increase there, so that's good to see. Oil plant research is finished. So, um, let's fill in again with this additional submarine surface detection and such. Sub organization plus 10, that's going to be important for my new subs as we send them out to battle. The oil plant level 2 finished up there, so that's good. We could, it is 1945, so we could work on some additional decryption stuff. Um, or I could do this here to help with my infantry's hard attack. Let's go ahead and do that, and just in case um, the allies decide to bring a bunch of tanks up against me here. So I think it does make sense then to take this division... Actually, let's just take the entire group here and assign them up here to this front line. So it's going to take them a little while to get over, but that'll at least give us six divisions and make me feel a little bit more comfortable about mounting an attack and heading it there towards Bangkok. We've got these two Japanese divisions sitting here that aren't really doing anything. They're in poor supply. If we take a look now at the air map mode, you can see that... I've at least got some better uh, efficiencies going here in these larger sea zones. 50% there, 29% there. How about this one in Polynesia? I've got 200 sitting here. Running at about a 50%. Okay, time for a new research yet again. We're looking good on the artillery stuff, which is nice. Um, about to get that manpower boost again. We could do some air doctrines type stuff. Uh, we did say we wanted decryption, so let's go ahead and start that on 121 days. We have one more naval dockyard to plug in here. I'm going to plug that directly into the sub-production. They're going to ask me to join the Soviets there, which the Soviet war, which I'm not going to do. Let's double-check on Germany and the rest of the Axis here in Europe and see how they're doing. They continue to roll towards Stalingrad now, and about two provinces away. Meeting some stiff resistance here from the Soviets as they try to protect their new capital. But uh, Turkey now making some advance here as well. And then you can see a big pocket opened up by Greece down here. Which it looks like the AI is being stupid again. Uh, that, For example, these Italian divisions could help mop up some of that territory again. Alright, let's double check on my divisions and making sure that they're getting over this way. Only sitting at about 100k now in manpower. Still getting about 300 there per month. And are these guys moving? Yes, these are the guys that are moving in now. They are moving along the sea zones here. So that's going to take them a little bit longer to get up there. Up to 10 subs now, actually. So that's good to see. Most of them untested. There's no way to really train these up like there is with the infantry divisions to gain uh, experience for your land units there. And what the hell just happened now? That's what happened. I'm not uh, getting any deliveries from my Iranian oil at all. Uh, we need 25, so... Okay, I'm at least able to get some from Venezuela there, for the time being. And aluminum still needed of 13. So the Soviet... Um, the Soviet deliveries lacking a little bit there. We've got tons of rubber back in surplus there. We've taken that away basically from the Allied powers, so hampering their motorized and air production there, which is awesome. Let's double check and see how much longer on the Wellington here, 119 days. We were going to probably take off some of these military factories when the time comes from the fighters in the Naval Bomber 2 production and uh, plug them into the tactical bomber production. Naval Bombers now you're showing at 331, fighters 252. So those are going to be ready um, as soon as the Americans decide to try to invade me or the British. And you can see, uh, let's double check on this air base over here in Polynesia. Okay, they're showing at a max of 200 there in Tahiti, so... He's got 200 of those Barracudas there that are trying to bomb out enemy shipping. And then I wish the Japanese would build one over here in West Polynesia so I could do some uh, raids, some port raiding here. On Samoa. 
up to 11 subs now. I think once we hit about 15 is when we're going to shoot out there. Um, lacking steel there, aren't we? Move you up a little bit there. So two and a half of those per month now popping out for us. Meanwhile, we've got two of these new destroyers that have just popped out. Oh, a light cruiser too. So let's go ahead and take our big fleet here of 19 ships. You're going to come home and I want to add you guys into the fleet. So it's going to show a total of 21 there. And I think I would love to build like a capital ship or something like that. So that we may use that for one of our research slots, right? I don't think a carrier is the way to go necessarily right now. I do like the idea of getting the battleship, though. It's going to take some significant uh, research before we're able to get up to it, but the Revenge class, I'm at least seeing a 50% modifier there, which is good. 68 days left on the Field Hospital Level 4 as well. Nice. Um... Alright, have my two new divisions arrived up here yet? Not quite. They are about to make landfall, which is good to see. Um, someone had asked if we're going to attack over here in Borneo, British Malaya. Um, I think we should. He's got zero divisions. I mean, according to my decryption, he's got zero divisions. All right. Divisions have finally now made it here to Katra Baru. New dockyard again. I might start saving these up. Eh, I'll tell you what, let's throw it into the submarine production there while we're while we're at it. Constructions wise, we're still making one more new dockyard that's gonna come out for us. Available planes and reserves, yeah, quite a few there. Jesus Christ, okay. Needing a lot of steel now. Showing at 15 civilian factories. I think we should take a construction project and plug it into synthetic refinery production here. We can create one on Northern Island. If I go here to trade oil, we're producing 77 and still importing 24. So that'll give us an extra five oil, I believe to throw at my production lines, which we're gonna are kind of continue to need stuff because we're gonna continue moving up on uh, naval production wherever we can. The land production stuff here is looking pretty good, damn good. I should have a pretty significant um, stockpile here of the level three stuff at 5.8K, so that's good. You can see a lot of Iranian divisions moving our way now. What's the hell's going on over here? Yeah, attacking those convoys as they move up here. Do I have any bombers here in the East Indian Ocean? I do not. 122 out of 200. So we'll move that up to 222. Let's move that up to 200 even. Nice. Set the limit there. So that'll reinforce. We do need to see about building up another uh, sort of airbase level over here. So airbase like this, Sumatra is at a level one. Let's bring that up to a level three so I can start distributing Barracudas over here towards these islands and such. And he's got sea bases and dockyards over here. So back to the air uh, view now. 23%. Yeah, still looking good with what we've got distributed across over here. Oh, we've had another engagement over this way now. Whoa, lost 14. Okay, cool. Lost 14 of their naval bombers that they had sent out. Probably an attempt to strike at this port over here. Okay. Showing a level 1 there for that sea base. All right, what are we looking at now uh, in terms of going up here? Uh, look at all of those Iranian divisions making a run for it. They're trying to escape over here to the Pacific where we at least have some. All right, he's going to go ahead and move in from this area. We're going to mount another attack with this one division like this, showing in a green 83. So that, sh that push 
should technically put us a little bit closer to Bangkok there. If I can make one more move over, that would be pretty sweet. Here we go. I'm going to keep them moving. Go, guys. Go, go, go. All right. Two divisions there getting counterattacked. Leave one division there. And one we're just going to march into Bangkok uncontested. Get in there. The Siamese fleet is sort of chilling in there now. That should kick them off. There they go. Okay, sweet. So I'm not sure how big the Siamese fleet is, but they should, if they come down here into the Straits, get rocked by my naval bombers. All right, so we've spread the line out here a little bit further, like I was talking about. So we do at least now control Bangkok, which was a big, big move for us. I think that's what... It's worth like 10 victory points or something. It's worth a lot. Siamese not able to... Well, I guess they're able to supply here from that naval base in India. So I was about to say they're, you know, not able to supply themselves anymore, but that is incorrect. All right, fleet size over here now, up to 22. That's awesome. We did pick up a ton of military factories in doing that. So I'm just going to save those for the new tactical bombers, I think. Yeah. Still missing resources. Having problems with aluminum and steel and such. You know what we could do as well is actually start converting over to some additional civilian factories over here. Like this. Since we just got a bunch of those available to us now. And what that's going to do is help out with my trade problems, my resource, my resource problems. Uh, Soviets delivering all of the aluminum needed to me now. If we go back to constructions here. I've got 16 on the job. Wow, a lot of um, projects queued up here, aren't there? So I think it makes sense to actually move up some of these conversion projects here. Just so we can get those extra civilian factories out and running as quickly as possible. Oil 3, aluminum 15, steel 2. How are we doing on an excavation... Okay, I'm, I'm all the way down the tree on excavation, so that's a little disappointing. I was going to say that's another way to get some additional resources, too. Uh, what do we need the most here, do you think? Oil 3, aluminum 15. We do need to um, help out with this aluminum crisis here. And that's definitely because of all my planes that I'm producing out. The naval bombers continue to produce out at a good rate there at over 2.8 per day. Convoys now producing out for us. Do we have a good stockpile of those? Not really. It's at least staying positive, though. Subs there still producing out at almost 2.7 per month. All right, sweet. Up to 16 subs here now. So let's go for a search and destroy here in Western Polynesia. That is going to be the single sea zone they are assigned to. Yeah, you can see 18 to 20 enemy ships present. I think if I take 16 of my guys over there, that's going to be awesome. Plus, if I combine you with a search and destroy mission here from my uh, my actual fleet, if we send both of those in there, I'm looking to get into a fight where that we can actually win. Hopefully, the Americans do not react to it, though. They've moved their fleet somewhere else. So we're going to get in here now. Okay, I see a battle popping off. 37 of my ships now going in. Against three carriers. Wow. I've already lost one sub and one destroyer there. Wow, there's a battleship in there as well. And hopefully my subs can actually do something with their torpedoes. I'm losing four subs now. Jesus Christ. Five subs. Yikes. They did lose two destroyers, it looks like. <clears throat> I'm just going to need a total ass load of subs. I think that's exactly what I'm going to need. Uh, this may, this will probably be considered a defeat. That's what I'm thinking. Light cruisers there now uh, coming back. Jesus Christ. We lost six destroyers um, and eight subs. So that uh, American Navy is pretty fucking stout, isn't it? 
Okay, so they're going to come back to port and try to repair themselves out here. So now down to eight light cruisers and eight destroyers. Okay, combining there to get my nine subs back. That did not go as well as I was hoping. And I wish there was a way to convert military factories over to um, actual dockyards. That would be nice. Cool. Field Hospital Level 4 is done. We'll pick a new research here next episode. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.